All right. Uh, hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another stream. Um, the cat's meowing in the background. I don't know what he's doing. <sighs> probably ticked because I won't let him. <laughs> he's not in here. I have the door shut. He's probably ticked. <laughs> um, but um, we are back. I I really want to play the DLC, so that's why you're seeing a lot of streams because I'm trying not to play it on my own. <laughs> um. Hopefully you guys are having a good Sunday. Mine's been pretty good. I actually went to a card expo and actually got some cool stuff. Um, yep, he's trying to claw the door, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> um, but I actually got some cool stuff. I got actually two graded cards, um, one of which I will not show off because it's a present for somebody. Um, but the other one is mine. Um, this I got this. It's a Mint 10, PSA 10, Japanese Charizard full art with Leon. So it's... It's pretty cool. If the camera would focus, there we go. All right. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool. It's a newer card. Obviously, it's a 2001, so about two years old, um, but still pretty cool. Plus being Japanese, the Japanese ones, I always love the back of the Japanese cards so much better. They look so much cooler. Um, but then I also got some ungraded cards as well that were pretty cool. Uh, they're in the binder, so I I've organized everything and then I got... A uh, booster box that I opened up already and I actually got really cool stuff out of that as well. Um, so yeah, I would have opened it on stream, but I feel like I wanted to focus on the game. So, um, but we're going to jump into this. I am super excited to see where the story goes. I will say, um, it should be super fun. I think I, I have not progressed it. I did go and change my outfit back, um, and look at some of the new outfit and hair options. Uh, I don't see anything I must have yet. <laughs> Keyword yet. Um, but yeah, we're here in game. We're going to go. Next thing we have to do is go to Carmine's house. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and focus so mainly on the story. Like we're still going to explore when we get to areas like we're going to catch Pokemon when we're there. Um, but I'm going to try and uh, maybe focus on the story a little more so that way because so that way you guys can see it you know I'm not saying i won't get sidetracked though because that's how this game is <laughs> let's show grandpa the you know the thing we found okay good morning to you sandra hey sandra good morning he's awake huh want to go see the last signboard kiki go find some place else to be sandra's got business with me uh, <laughs> seriously, she's spending all her time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What'd you just call me? Hm. Oh. What's this deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss, right, Sandra? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Where's the mask? There? Oh, it's up here. <gasps> here. There. Could this be? This mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean, yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would be still be gracing our festival with his presence. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Sandra. You also met the poor ogre, or Ogrepon, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story, as passed down through our family for generations. I feel like Kieran should hear this. Talk to him. Okay, I, I mean, I'm right here, so... This is going to be a bit of a long story to tell. Is that alright? Sure. The story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. A 
Okay. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in the cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man bought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. So wait. So the mask the ogre wears now maybe is the one with the man, it looks like? Hmm. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors too of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived, and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. That's terrible. Ogrepon didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa... The villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the Loyal Three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry? Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say, our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Ooh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say that what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe the word of the truth to anybody. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. 
About the mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs? Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. Gave the teal mask to him? Okay. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Oh, he's listening. Oh, no. Kieran, what's he doing? I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mass fist will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. No, well, I doubt that. I think he, I'm pretty sure he heard everything. Meet up with Kieran. Okay. Where is Kieran? Down there. Okay. Um, Shasta, you good? You were looking over there. Do you need to go outside? She's acting like she needs to go outside, guys. I will uh, be right back. I'm going to take her out real quick. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to take her out. <laughs> um, but let's go meet up with Kieran, then. Hopefully he's not mad at us. I don't know. <laughs> he heard everything, clearly. Clearly he heard everything, so. Well, there he is. What's he doing? I need to put my earphones back in. Getting wrapped around all the stuff on my desk. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Sandra. So I was gonna ask, what were you and my sister just uh, talking about? This and that, I guess. Uh, oh, I see. Now he's gonna be ticked because we didn't tell him. So about the signs, the last one's a 
bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Why'd you lie to me? Oh no, now he's gonna be ticked. Come on. I feel like we should be able to tell him. I hate that. I hate that. Where is it? Okay, so it's over here where we need to go. Okay, so as far as where we've been, I guess what's the best way to get there? There's a lot of good ways to get there, of course. Maybe going through the gorge here, we could kind of circle around because we've been kind of up here. We've been on the mountain, I guess. Have we been up here, I guess? Maybe we haven't. I don't know. Um... I guess we'll fly here, and we'll just kind of make our way from there. I feel really bad now, though. Like, come on. Like, why do we have to not- why can't we tell him? I feel like we should be able to. There's a bug terra den down here, though, that I want to check out. Alright, what's in here? Noctowl. Do we have Noctowl, actually? I actually do not know. I don't remember. I don't remember if we've caught Noctowl yet or not. No, I don't think we have. Okay. So let's do this den, actually. Let's, um... I'm gonna switch to Charizard, just because Charizard will make this go really, really quick. Let's do that really quick, because I can get the Knocked Owl, and then... Then that'll be that. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Flamethrower should do a ton of damage to this. Yep. <laughs> Already halfway down. Air Slash, that's absolutely fine. Hailwind, okay. Alrighty then. Still faster, so hey, I'll take it. Nice, let's go. Really trying my best to complete this Pokedex, guys. I'm really trying. Alright, Pokeball. I swear, Kieran's mad at us now because I swear it's gonna be so sad. I was told not to tell. Uh. Uh. Oh, be so sad. I feel like, is he gonna maybe confront us at the next signpost or something? Like, I feel like that would be... Maybe, anyway. I don't know. He's gonna get ticked or something's gonna be awkward, I guess. Alright, send you to the box. All right, let's climb here. Climb back up. All right, now we just gotta go through the mountain. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for shinies and hope that I don't miss any. Because that's gonna be one thing, like... Obviously, I'm gonna look for... new Pokémon, but I'm also gonna keep my eye out for a shiny. Geo 
dude. Some of these shiny should be really easy to spot. You're not shiny. No. I don't know what that one shiny looks like, to be fair. I do not know what shiny antenna looks like. Okay, you stand out really well, don't you? Because aren't you, like, white? So, so land it is. There's a steel type den somewhere around here. Up here? Can I climb this? Is this the ceiling? That uh, is the ceiling. <laughs> Alright. It's on top of the mountain, I guess. Timber, Pichu, Clefairy, Growlithe. Nothing we don't have yet. Okay, let's go this way, I guess, because this is the way we did not go before. Infernal Pass. Yeah, so this is... But it's a way we can go, so might as well. Houndor. I know we have you. We don't have coughing yet, do we? Don't think we have coughing yet. All right, quick ball. Nice, there we go, coughing. Another Pokemon in the Pokedex. Splink I know we already have because that's in the normal Pokedex. Awesome, shiny. There we go. All right. All right. Oop, item down here. Give me that. Sand tomb. Okay. There's a Vulpix. Oh, there's something over here that I want. Heat wave, okay. So many coughing around here. So many coughing. Thunder wave, all right. So far, not seeing too many new things here. Oh, there's Mimikyu. Wait, that's new, isn't it? Mimikyu's new, right? Or am I just nuts? No, I have Mimikyu. Okay, never mind. He's not new. <laughs> Guess I was just excited to see something new. I don't know. I don't remember all the Pokemon that were in the bogey decks already. What was that? Did I see something? That's another Mimikyu. Okay. Hondor's just chilling right there, isn't he? Oh, there's a Houndoom in there, too. What's in this den? Ambipom! Ooh, yes. Okay. I do need that. Um, Let's go... It's grass type, so let's go Charizard. I'm gonna hope... It's five star, so this is not gonna be easy. However... I'm gonna try it. Because if I go online and do it, then that might be. This den may disappear and then we lose the Ampy Bomb, so. Okay, Drift Bloom should be good against it. Intimidate on the Tauros is a nice. Nice damage, there we go. Trailblaze. Oh, it actually has a grass move. That's honestly really nice. Oh wait, it's right in the speed, okay. Knock off. Okay. 
Okay, we're doing good damage to it. Ooh, we burned it. Let's go. That's actually really clutch. Damn. Okay. Well, I guess we didn't have any stat changes, really. What? Ooh, nice hit. Let's go. Okay. We put the shield up. Okay. And now he's sand attacking. That's really annoying, actually. You're... Okay. He's 90% accurate. I couldn't remember. I gotta stop with the fairy swipes. Ambipom. Really, Ambipom? We're making we're making progress. Which is good. Okay. I think we've got this. Screech, that's not good. But should we take it out with this flamethrower maybe? Yes, let's go. Alright, another Pokemon in the Pokedex. Oh. He's done! Oh, he's already done. Don't let him sand attack. He's done. <laughs> All right, there's another one. We don't have to evolve Ambi A A Palm, which is nice. It's a good thing with these raisins. You can find a lot of the fully evolved Pokemon, so therefore you don't have to evolve the other ones. Which I think is nice. Bottle caps. How come I can never get Urban Mystica from these? Like, honestly. Never can, and it's just... Ugh. All right, Ambipom. There we go. I'm pretty sure my brother was telling me, too, Apom and Ambipom, I think, are version exclusive to Violet, I think. Or at least that's what he was saying. I'm not... I don't know. I haven't looked into it myself, but I trust what he says. Oh, there's an item up there that I want. Give me that. Vacuum wave, okay, all right. Oh, slugma, that's a Terra slugma too, actually, okay. We don't have you, at least I'm pretty sure we don't have you. Type is it? Oh wait, is it slugma or Mercargo? It's slugma. Is it, it's ground type, okay. Uh, Shadow Claw? I'm weak to it. But, okay, there. We're good. Alright, and then we just Ultra Ball. Ch Chingling is just sitting there beside me, like, hello. I'm sorry, Chingling. I already have one of you. Um, I will not be catching you. Not today. There we go. All right. So we got that line now, which is good. Oh, apparently I can claim a reward. Hang on. I like to do those just in case it's useful. 150. So we can actually go talk to that um, photographer girl as well. Adamant's uh, descendant. Oh, was that Graveler? We do not have Graveler yet. Okay, Quick Ball, please work, because False Wipe will take forever on this. Oh, it lagged so bad there. That scared me, actually. Like, I was afraid the game was going to crash.
Okay, now that we just have that, we just need to trade that, honestly, to evolve it, so... Or maybe we'll get lucky and find one in a raid den. I'm gonna save, because that scared me. <laughs> that actually made me nervous. So many slugma. Say so that would be a cool... Uh, shiny to find slugma because it's silver. Okay, I'm gonna jump down here because this is the way we have to go. Uh, <laughs> but there's some lotads and a hound door in the middle of them. It's up here. Revive, always nice to have. Vulpix. A hound doom. Bronze. We have bronze ore, don't we? Yeah, Bronze Ore is in the normal game. It was a version exclusive to Scarlet, I'm pretty sure. Or no. Is it is it exclusive or not? Or no, that's just the uh Armor Rouge thing, I think. Actually, I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys you guys know. Alright, and then this is the area I need to be in. Oh hi nose pass. <laughs> I don't have you. Did not see you there. Did not see it there at all. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Got the nose pass. Oh, there's the Jangmo too, actually. And I see a Vullaby as well. Those are both Pokemon that we need. So let's get you first, because you're... I feel like you're probably rare, because you're rarer, I guess, because you're the pseudo of Gen 7, so... Come on, catch it. Yes, let's go. Got Jangmo. This is a pseudo I actually don't know a ton about, but honestly. I didn't even know the name of its middle form until we caught it. Until I caught it the other day. I think that was one of the raid ends I did off camera. Alright, and then we have Vullaby down here. There's so many items. There's Bombardier here too, actually. Okay. Alright. Come on, Vullaby. Nice. Let's go. Alright. It's legit the diapered Pokemon. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's what it's called. What it is. <sighs> Alright. So many items around here. Oh, Sand Slash. We don't have Sand Slash yet. Oh, there's Orthworm. I'm getting so many items that the notifications just can't keep up. <laughs> Alright, yeah, because we don't have Sand Slash yet, no. So we need Sand Slash. Nice, let's go. I love when the Quick Ball works. I love when it works. This makes it so much easier. There's a KU over there. <laughs> hey. There we go. Okay, let me grab it. <gasps> Shinx. Uh, oh, there's an outbreak of Sandrew here, actually, apparently. Okay. I did not realize there was an outbreak. I saw a lot of sand true, but I didn't know there was an outbreak. Oh, now I found a mass outbreak, apparently. Ooh, Aura Sphere. Okay, nice. 
items everywhere that I must have. There's one over here. Oh, high spoink. <laughs> high spoink. There's so many nose pass just sitting here. There's a trainer over there too. I don't know if I should honestly worry about him or not. So I'm getting so many items that they just can't keep up. Like it's so funny. Sunstone, okay. Alright, items over here. Oh, you're the Ogre Clan person. One of them, anyway. Oh, sorry, no, it's fast. I did not mean to run into you. <laughs> I did not mean that. That's really good, actually. That's really good. And again, I'm getting so sidetracked right now. Alright. Where do I need to go? I need to... It's somewhere over here. hanging about. I need the items. So many Pokeballs, legit. Did someone like just spam a bunch of Pokeballs here or something? Right, there's one here I want. They put items in, like, the best places to sidetrack me, like, legit. What was that? Okay, it's Sancher. Okay. I was like, don't be so... <laughs> it's like, don't be something shiny or anything like that. That's what I was worried about. Items. Items everywhere. Oh, there's a cave. Can I go in the cave? Unremarkable teacup. Oh, that's what we use to evolve the, um... Oh, what's it called? Alright, here we go. Here's this. These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Sure. Okay, let me heal up our Pokemon. This time, I'll win. Alright, Kieran, let's go. Yanma coming in. Alright, that's fine. We have a perfect lead for that. I want to win. I want to win, so I got this. I feel so bad. The bombardier is sitting there watching. Look at it. It's just sitting there watching. 
should have thought things through. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Polyrath, okay. All right, who do I want to send in? Let's go Lily. Just because my other option, I've got two other options for it, obviously, but like Meowskarada is level 100 already. So that'd just be too easy. Alright, here we go. So we went with Poly Wrath. Earth Power! Alright. You comfy over there, Shasta? <laughs> She's in my chair. <laughs> Alright, there we go. For it coming in. All right, let's let's go ahead and switch. Let's go, Tommy. All right. So this is the second to last. Oh, it lived. And it used Super Fang. Okay. I did not think that would live. Then again, I guess I could Dragon Dance and then it wouldn't have lived, but it's fine. <laughs> Diplin. Oh, okay. Let's stay in, actually. He is a Diplin. Why does it have to be like this? Why? You're in. Ooh, evasiveness fell. Okay. Okay, icicle crash. Don't miss. No. All right. All covered in syrup. Okay. Syrup bomb. What does that do? Oh, speed fell. Tommy, don't miss. Another syrup bomb. Tommy, you gotta stop missing Icicle Crash. Come on. Thank you. That'll one-shot this thing. Like, legit. There we go. Oh, goodness. That was more difficult than it should have been. <laughs> it's all because I'm too weak. Aaron. Can I just tell him, like, please? I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... We should go check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. Okay. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans who face, whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's. Great-grandpa's oh, great-great-great-grandpa or something. That's amazing. I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I re don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that? Treated like some kind of outcast? 
You're right. You think so too, huh, Sandra? Want to take that last photo? It, it seems so awkward. <laughs> uh. Well, we're all done with our assignment now. But I've got to get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm going to head home. Kieran. We were getting along so well. <laughs> get some rest at the community center. Okay. Ooh, wait. What's in the dragon? This den over here. What's here? It's a strong one, apparently. And it's a dragon type. I, okay, I gotta see what this, these items are first. There's an item over here too, dang it. I wanna see what's in this den. Items. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm ignoring the shiny ones. I'm ignoring those. Give me this den. I wanna know what's in it. A dragon type mandibuzz. Okay. I want to take it on. I don't know if I would beat it though, is the thing. I'm going to leave it alone because I don't think I'll beat it. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and fly back to the community center here. I just want to fly here. There we go. That's what I want. <laughs> Again, I'm focusing more on the story. Exploration-wise, I will go as we go along. All right, let's heal up while we're here. All right, let's go in the community center and get some rest. I'm gonna save just in case like something happens and we all know these games don't perform the best. <laughs> we all know they don't, unfortunately. Good morning, Sandra. Carmine wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said you better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Okay. <laughs> All right, go to Carmine's house. Let's see. Sandra, you took your sweet time. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix dear Ogremon's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogremon really happy if we fixed it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogrepon to be happy, you know? I'm sure Ogrepan will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, oh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you'd better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me, I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. No. <laughs> it would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Sandra. I guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pool's at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. Let's say you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster. 
Why can't we just tell Kieran and let him come? Like, that's my thought on it. Like, come on, let him come. We have a, f we, okay, we have a fly point there. I mean, that's, I'm sure that's the easiest point to get to it, so. Oh, uh, the handle monster hunter. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's uh, set it as our destination so that way I don't like just completely miss it. Um. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, let's go on up here. I think we've caught really all the Pokemon in this area, so unless there's a shiny, I'm not really gonna stop. Or something really that I'm just not seeing bobs up. That could also be the case. Okay, I'm assuming we circle around here and then go with through that path that I saw. Slugma. I would love a shiny one of those. Like, honestly. I think that would be so nice. I could just climb the mountain, but... I don't see as many Pokemon that way. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I am doing pretty good. Went to a card convention today, uh, collect- I guess, not really card convention, it was mostly cards, but it was a collector's convention. So, like, they had other things, too. Alright, netball, there we go. There's an item over here. What's in this den, too, I guess? That's the other thing I need to look. Okay, click, there we go. Give me the item. Wait, is that- that looks like Basque Legion. Is it? Is it Basque Legion? Hang on. It's ground type. Um, let's go Holly Leaf. Just been stream hopping, challenging streamers. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I did not expect to see Hisuian Pokemon, but I guess I, I should have though, because that one girl has the Hisuian Growlithe. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get it first try. Rain Dance. Okay, this one might be a little tough. It is five star, so, but I think we got this. Uh, flower Trick. I only have the one grass move, so that's easy. It always crits, though, so... If you want to battle, we can, though. You're probably just focusing in on the story. Yeah, I am kind of focusing on the story. Maybe one day I'll be doing, like... I'm sure there'll be streams that I do where I just battle people one day. Uh, not today, probably. Um, especially, too, I don't really have the team that, like, I would battle people with, you know? Like, I built one that's kind of more for battling. It's not necessarily, I would call it a competitive team, but it's... It's better than my playthrough team. <laughs> I'll say that much. Some of my playthrough... I have two members from my playthrough team on it, but... That's about it. <laughs> Yeah, but definitely one day, I w I'm sure we could battle one day here. Probably not today, though, because I do want to get through as much of the story as I can. <laughs> Alright, flower trick. Okay, yeah, I think we'll be okay here. Scary face, that lowers my speed. I have my playthrough team and just stack teams, although that's fair, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Some people have the stack teams, others just, like, prefer to use their playthrough teams. Typically, I just do, but, like, if I'm taking it more seriously, like, when I battle my brother, I kind of take it a little more seriously. We both have kind of built teams that are more for battling each other. So... I don't know. <laughs> He beats me more often than not, I will say, which sucks, but it's, it's fine. Can I terrestrialize? I guess I should have paid attention to that. I can. There we go. I should do that. <laughs> should 
definitely do that, because that can help me do more damage. The genie's level sacked. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I do mess around, though. People have beat me with playthrough teams. Yeah, sometimes it's fun to just try something different, you know? Like, not just do the same thing every time, I think. At least that's my thing. Like, obviously there's certain things I'm always, like, you give me a Charizard and I always want to use it because it's my favorite Pokemon. Um, but then, of course, there's, there's some fun stuff you can always try out. And, I mean, it may not always work, but, you know, it's, hey, you never know if you don't try it, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> find really impressive yeah yeah typically when you build a playthrough team it's not like uh it's not as good like competitively i guess in that regard at least that's what i've found anyway typically okay this should take it out we're good we get the basket legion let's go i am very happy honestly I, i've never used basket legion i did not use it in my history playthrough because i my starter was oshawott but I'm very glad Basket got an evolution. I think it desperately needed it. Alright, let's catch you in the Pokeball. Yeah, Rank just got old, because all you see are the genies. Yeah, Urshifu, yeah. <laughs> Heatran. Well, I do use them myself, obviously. I want to fight some playthrough teams and chill teams. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because, I mean, you see the same things all the time. It's just not as fun, you know? Like, that's, that's my thought anyway, because you already know it, and it's like, there, there's, you already know what it is, you already know what it's going to be, and there's no, there's no fun to that. An ability capsule, okay. Why can't I never get Herba Mystica? Like, come on. I know it's not as likely in these five star, but come on. I never get any. I never get any. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> There we go, though. Basket Legion, that's awesome. And the female one, too. I love how the female and male, like, have the different colors, like the blue versus the red. I think that's so awesome. Alright. Glad I stopped by that den. Okay. Let's head up the hill. When the playthrough teams do pull a win against me, I get excited. Oh, absolutely. That's ab I think that's absolutely so cool when that happens. Like, when my playthrough team manages to beat my brother, like, I always get so happy about that. Alright, we're at the Crystal Pool. Not seeing any Pokemon I don't have yet. That doesn't mean they're not here. I arrived. Oh, there's Carmine. Let's talk to her. Here you are, Sandra. Come on, get a load of this view. It's really pretty up here, honestly. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who've passed away. Hmm, huh. okay. It's funny because I lose, but it's also showing people that even though you play casually, you can still be competitive teams. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's the thing. Like, you you never know what's going to happen, you know? You never know. So it's really fun to see when you can, you know? I think it is. Now I just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Sonner. Go on then. Jump in. Don't be scared. Wait, you want me to jump in? <laughs> well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. You've got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. What? What in the... An earthquake? What? Oh! A Milotic. Are its eyes normally red like that? You're awfully lucky that I'm around. Hey, I can handle myself. Mm -hmm. Even though, of course, it's always an uphill battle because the power level of my teams is often way higher than theirs, yeah. So it's difficult for them, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely that. But also, like, I feel like sometimes that makes the win all the better, you know? 
All right, let's just switch into Holly Leaf. Because Kirito is obviously not good against my Lodic. Definitely not. Oh, I could have stayed in. <laughs> it's fine. Let's finish this. Is my Lodic size normally red like that, or am I just crazy? It doesn't look right to me. But it's not that I've ever actually, like, paid too much attention to my Lodic's eyes. <laughs> Alright, flower trick. Yeah, I could have just left Kirito in there. It's fine. <gasps> it's fine. Sheesh, that surprised me. Now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? I mean, I'm the champion, so... <laughs> oh, is that what we need? I think that must be what we need. Hey, is that... A crystal Cluster. There we go. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought. The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. Miss Briar. Hi there, Carmine, and Sandra too. I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to swing switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in, uh, interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy, though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. Uh, I see. Well, um, we've got somewhere to be, so... Let's head back, Sandra. All right. <laughs> yeah, just taking down Pokemon like Cresselia, the genies, Heatra, and Ursifu, Hisui, and Samurott with your funny little Meowskarada that you've spent the whole game must be pretty little satisfying. Oh, absolutely. Especially, too, I think, when it's your starter. You know, like, your starter's kind of, I feel like, to me anyway, it's always, like, kind of the most special member of my team. Because, of course, that's your first Pokemon. I'm, I'm one of those people. I don't like to... Oh, Pi Bronzar. Sorry. Did not mean to run into you, friend. I'm always that person. I like to keep my starter around all the time. So it... I always make that effort to make sure my starter's always on the team. No matter if there's a type overlap or not, because sometimes there is. Okay, Swadloon, already have you. Alright. There's an ITM up here. What is you? I love this area, but it's so laggy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Glamora's here. Did not see you a minute ago. Glamora and Glimmin. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I'm just gathering the items before we head back. Power jam. Nice type nose pass. Okay, we already have you. Is there like Pokemon living in the lake or? I don't see any. Items over here too. All right. Oh, it's a Terra Glamora. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I think that's about all the items though. So I think even let's go ahead and fly back I'm waiting for Kieran to blow up at me uh, even some of the new Pokemon which I won't say anything about because they deserve to be experienced for the first time blind but my god <laughs> yeah yeah there's some really good ones honestly there's some good ones and then there's also some not so great ones but I don't know. there's a lot of cool new ones honestly in this gen that I really like I don't know. There's a lot of new ones that I like. I mean, my whole team is new ones besides Corviknight, but I had to use Corviknight. He was shiny, and I found him in my playthrough. Like, I couldn't not use him. 
I couldn't not. If I get a shiny during my playthrough, like that's that's kind of like my unspoken rule. Like I have to use it. And I mean, it helped me because it solved my flying type issue. <laughs> I didn't know what flying type I wanted. I just knew I wanted one. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, we got the crystal cluster you needed. Why am I getting so tripped up saying that? <gasps> Sandra, come in. I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I haven't said a word. Right, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. All the new Pokemon from the DLC are at least good, and the legendaries are... <laughs> Amazing, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing the legendaries, of course. I've only... I haven't gotten to experience them yet, but I'm sure they're really good. Kieran seemed to be heading to Loyalty Plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. All right, off we go. Where am I headed? Okay, I'm just gonna do this because it's easy. <laughs> I'm terrified for when they become legal. <laughs> that, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I probably would be too. Kieran, what are you doing? Kieran. <laughs> Sandra. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You, you knew? And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met with the ogre. Oh no. The power creep for the Switch gens of <laughs> stupid, yeah. He's doing something devious, of course he is. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar, you're a liar. What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Sandra, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Okay. Okay. I'm still recoiling from Sassian and the speed of Regilecki. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Regilecki is really fast, and the Zacian hits hard. Like, honestly. I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? Okay. Alright, Kieran. Oh, he evolved his Yanma. Okay. Well, I mean, we still have the perfect lead, so I'm not worried. I know this isn't right, but I can't just hand over the mask to you. Alright, Bitter Blade. You kind of really gotta win this. I, I think I got this. Polyrath coming in. Okay, let's switch. Um, I know his Polyrath actually has um, Earth Power, so I'm gonna actually switch to Holly Leaf. Or at least it did the last battle, so let's actually go Holly Leaf. Because it might have Ice Beam or something, but Holly Leaf's high enough level where I'm not worried. Plus, we got Flower Trick, it crits. It'll one shot Polyrath easy. Yep, there it is. What can't you do? You're like the hero in a story. Ah. <laughs> it scares me how Kieran's theme, though, still sounding like a rival theme, has the sun and moon violin that I've noticed recently that villains have in their theme. That's true, it does, doesn't it? Gligar. 
Okay, that one's new. Um, let's go... You're not in your hero form, but I think you'll be fine. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure Chairman Rose had it in his Dark Souls boss music. He might have. I don't remember Chairman Rose's as much, honestly. I don't remember his that well. Oh. Alright, let's go Waterfall. I think... I know we're not in our hero form, but... Yeah, we're fine. I would lead with my Palafin, but he, he's level 100. Diplin coming in. Okay, this is where Bax Caliber. Come here, Tommy. Don't miss Icicle Crash. <laughs> Piano sounds more serious than normal. Yeah. That's true, it does kind of, doesn't it? Especially now, actually. Just right now, it does. Most. Like, it all. It did, but like, especially now. Huh. Do not miss. Thank you. Go off the deep end in part two with the way we've been treating him so far. Legit. Like, we were doing so well, and then this had to ruin it. Cramorants. Okay, that. Lily, come here. Alright. Discharge. Surf. That's fine. <laughs> it's got the gulp missile she cuffed you up? Oh no. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Lily's too good. There we go. <laughs> Why? Why can't I be as good as you? That was so bad. We were getting along so well. He was opening up. It was great. Yeah, Lily tanked that. Belly Bolt's actually really, really good, I think, honestly. Oh, man. Ouch. Kieran. Ow. Don't hurt yourself, dude. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. Hmm. You ready to see what Kieran did? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not like this at all. The way he's acting is a bit scary, honestly. Is that just me, or did you feel it too? Yeah. Right. I sure never let teenage janks get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. Hey, can you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal Three Monument? I'm reviving properties? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? They're back. Oh no. Kieran, why? Oh no. <laughs> Huh? What in the world? They all just look like trouble. Like, honestly, they do. What did you want? Oh, oh they're conspiring, conspiring with each other. What are they doing? You revive the goofiest legendaries in the history of this franchise. <laughs> Seriously, what is going on? Hmm. 
Book of Mystery Dungeon rival team potential. I want to hear dialogue from them legit. I'm gonna go bully Ogre Pond. No, no. What was all that about? Were they the loyal three? Hey, you're right. They were three of them, and they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. Story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off toward Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after them. Come on, Sandra. No, it can't be good. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go heal first. Um, Let's go heal real quick. Because who knows, we might need it. <laughs> Never know when you might need it. Alright, let's heal up real quick. And we'll be on our way to Kitakami Hall. I'm pretty sure they don't look that sinister in actuality. They're probably all black and stuff from decomposure because, you know, they just woke up from being dead. That's true, yeah. They probably did not look like that before. I'm betting they didn't. Yeah, really, they've been there for, yeah, who knows how long. Another sweet tip. Okay. Oh, a new pose. Okay. Uh, thank you. I guess. Appreciate it. I mean, I guess she is the one to talk to probably for poses, considering she's holding her phone all the time. <gasps> yeah, I mean, it's just like how, I mean, think of, if you think about them being revived, I bet it's almost similar to how like Ho-Ho revived like Suicune, Entei, and uh, Raikou. It's like, well, they didn't look like that before, you know. It's just three Pokemon that did pass, and then they... You know, they were revived. So it's definitely probably things that, you know, they didn't look like that. The mass of them are more colorful and actually look like they could belong to not evil Pokemon. They do, honestly. Oh, if it isn't Sondra, if only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmine. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. But yes, did, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seemed they wished to collect the shining mask we've kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the mask to them with all haste. You gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. The loyal three gobbled them up in a flash. And you fed them? Kitakami mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. But those lousy three are the bad guys. The masks belong to Ogre Pond. I really wish I could tell them everything. So where did those three go? They went at once to ascend Oni Mountain. Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. No wonder they were dubbed the Loyal Three. Such hardworking heroes they are. This isn't the time to be laughing at all. If the story we heard is true, then those three must have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pond. They say the ogre fought using the powers of its masks. But Ogre Pond doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. Oh no. Well, yeah, they do look more alive, yes. I love how none of them are questioning how they came back to life. Yeah. We need to help it. Yeah, we're on the same page, but we should split up. You head to the Dread Den and help Ogre Pond. I'll go back home and get the max mask fixed up. Give me the mask and the crystal. Thanks. I'll head your way the moment the mask's fixed. Until then, make sure Ogre Pond's safe. Leave it to me. I got this. All right. All right, hang on. Let me just kind of double check, make sure I know where I'm going. Set its destination. All right, let's get up there. Ow. <gasps> I didn't even <laughs> pay attention to where I was going. Okay. Get up the mountain. Gotta get to the dreaded den and save Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond seems so sweet too. Like honestly, like when you see him, he seems so sweet. Like I just feel so bad for him. Yeah, really, why would Kiki do that if he loves the ogre so much? You know, like why? 
It doesn't really make sense. I know he's frustrated, but... Or did he think reviving them would make everyone see the truth? Oh, there's an item up here that I want. Hang on. Okay, something I'm definitely not using, but, you know, it's fine. That worth more. I don't use X items, I just don't. What's in this den? It's actually a girl? Really? Okay. Okay, we already have Clefairy. Oh, Geodude, leave me alone. Probably either to see the truth or he did j just did that in a fit of rage. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's gotta be one of those. Fighting type Geodude? Okay, that's actually interesting. Uh, I'm gonna leave it alone, though. Already have Geodude, so... I'm just gonna leave it alone. Alright. Oh my gosh. Hey, leave him alone. Or her alone, I guess. She says a girl. Oh, leave her alone. Come on. I don't know what types these three are. Okay, so did they elect this one as fighting me, I guess? I don't know what type this is. Monkey Dory. Okay, that's this one's name. Don't know what type you are, so I'm just gonna hit you with a bitter blade. It ain't actually confirmed Kiki did that, but it's the most logical conclusion because last time I checked, legendary Pokemon don't magically come back to life. That that's true, yeah. Psychic. Okay, is it a psychic type? Toxic chain. Psychic poison. Oh, good job, Kirito. I'm gonna try this. It was a banger. It sounds like a banger. Like, honestly, I'm really liking it so far. Okay, we beat that one. And given the fact that the terror crystals can see and revive the dead. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Knock it off, all of you. They were trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fight, fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. They're gonna leave now. <laughs> they ran away. I guess I'm just too much for them to handle. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Sandra, I, uh... Go on, say it properly. About the mask, I just got so angry and... What I did was real dumb. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Thanks, Sandra. <laughs> there we go. It's psychic, but note that they all gain poison type because of the toxic change that grant the po Pokemon their legendary powers. Gotcha, okay. Honestly, the Terra Crystals seem to be the most powerful magical substance that helps the next game's main gimmick in the franchise. Yeah. He was sulking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And, well, I'm glad I did. Oh, there he is. Oh, she. She. I... Ugh. It's really you. The real-life ogre. Wowzers, you're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? This is for you, dear ogre. 
It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Sandra. There you go. There you go, little buddy. And yeah, you've arrived through crazy greedy legendary clowns that are implied to also be murderers. Legit, yeah. <laughs> Seems so happy. Seems pretty comfortable around you, Sandra. It'd be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogrepan too, don't you think? Did those did those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? Yeah, never mind that the masks rightfully belong to poor Ogrepan here. I wouldn't put it past the so-called loyal three to plot a second ambush either. We need to keep Ogrepan safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are going to form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. Count me in. <laughs> Good idea, isn't it? And you get to be my second in command. <laughs> Who wins the battles all the time? <laughs> the Lamo three. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can come too? Of course you can. And now that that's settled, let's go gather intel about those loyal three in Mousewee. We're gonna get those masks back. We can do this. All right. Oh, Agrippon will now follow me around. Wait, really? Oh, yay! <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when the trailers dropped, I didn't expect the Poison Clowns to be villains, just more goofy anti-heroes. Honestly, I thought they were just like, honestly, bonus new legendaries that we would get, honestly. That's what I thought. Okay. Alright. Can I fly? Okay. Fast travel. I just thought they were going to be bonus legendaries. I didn't even expect them to really be part of the story. Oh, Kitty Life, hello! I've been good, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. What's wrong, Urupan? I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it away back then, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, maybe Urupan can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. Do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogremon. Uh, Ogre- I said Ogremon. That's a Digimon. Ogrepon. <laughs> We go in village. You stay here. Ogre Pond, stay. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no. Wait for us here until we come back, okay? <laughs> okay, maybe... Looks like it understood that. What was wrong with what I said? <laughs> It clearly did not want to listen to her. <laughs> I've been well. It's been quite a while since I last stopped by. I hope things have been going well. Yeah, things have been going all right. Things have been going good. You know, I've just been getting, hey, you know, life. <laughs> just getting through life. That's what I've been doing. Okay. Do I have to go in the community center? Is that where it wants me to go? It seems where it seems like where I want to go. Who am I... Supposed to talk to? Nope. Okay. Oh, I already know that stuff. There. I'll leave that there. Just random people. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Appreciate that, because I will not... It doesn't really tell you. <laughs> see if they say anything important about the Loyal Three. Gotcha. Okay. Anything important. Let's see. What do you want to say? Those Loyal Three. They're the best, aren't they? What? <laughs> Uh, 
there are any Pokemon that are lovey-dovey like you? All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Have you seen Okie dokie of the Loyal Three? That purple scarf it wears is so lovely. I saw it wandering around in the Barrens. Okay, so one of them is in the Barrens. Okay. At Kitakami Hall. I saw the Loyal Three chowing down a mochi at Kitakami Hall. Okay. Well, we already knew they were there. Your partner follows. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> we need to show these crazy people a mouse hold. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Nope. You just talk about Mosui. Um, anybody over here that wants to talk to me about the Loyal Three? Maybe you want to talk? I'm trampling this person's garden. Oh, okie dokie. I got the Okidogi. The real one wasn't as green as the Okidogi masks, though. No, they're, they're definitely not. Um, who else have I... Can I talk to? I guess I gotta go more over here. Or, well, I haven't talked to you yet. Ooh! I saw Fe Fezandipiti. 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 I'm gonna screw that up. Zoom through the sky over Oni Mountain. It was so much cooler than the story say. Okay, got a second clue. The way it wears its toxic chain is real hokey dokey, yeah. Well, they were kind of dead for probably centuries. Yeah, they, they were. So, yeah. They were kind of, you know, under the ground for who knows how long. Okay, no. Oh, Monkey Dory, okay. I saw someone had collapsed, so I went to check on them, but it was just Mookie Dory taking a nap. It could be so peaceful around that pond out there. What an ideal place for a snooze. Time to compare notes. Okay. It does look majestic. That's true. Yeah, it does. Just waiting right here. We're back, Rooker Pond. All right, let's come by. I the info we've gathered. You go first, Kiki. Okay, well, here's what I heard. Probably went to do some meditating, yeah. I see. Interesting. Thanks for the information you two brought. I think we know exactly where each of those th lousy three is hiding. That's great news. I knew the mask retrieval squad I assembled wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Rest assured, your fearless leader, that's me, sees your hard work and effort. Oh, jeez. <gasps> I'll record everything we found about those those three to your Rotom phone, Sandra. That way we won't forget any of it. Am I the only one that has a phone? I know Ke Kieran. Oh, wait, no, you have a phone. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. The whereabouts of them have been added to your map. Okay. It's the wisest of the three. It probably makes their goofy plans. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It used to be an idiot, though. The powers of the toxic chain gave it its big brain. Ah, oh, gotcha. Now, then, let's go to retrieve those masks. We can do this. I'm not going. What? You're part of the team. You need to come along. As long as Sandra's around, I'm not sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. I'm sure Ogre Pond will... F oh, I'm sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. Besides, I got things to do. Sorry. Oh. I wonder if he's still upset. Oh well, I can't force him to tag along. Let's just take care of this ourselves. You can decide where we head first. Let's get all of Ogre Pond's masks back, alright? Yes, I am walking around with the ARC phone. <laughs> it was my favorite one. <laughs> alright, where should we go first? You're up in the mountain. I guess you're kind of the closest one. So I feel like we should go here. Have I? Do I need to heal? Am I good? I do need to heal. 
Of course, Kiki ain't gone. Bro's been depressed over it since the story incident. Yeah, he has. I feel so bad for him. Aw. Oh. I feel so bad for him. Yes, let me heal my Pokemon, please, and thank you. All right. All right, let's go out and get the first one here. Remember the locations you... You gotta return to them to catch them after. Oh, okay, got you. I will remember that then. Okay, we're just gonna zoom there, because I... As I've decided, I can explore on my own, but I want to get the story done, like, on stream, so. Oh, almost ran into the Pichu. Almost ran into the Pichu. How you doing back there, Ogre Pond? You good? I think I've lost him, kind of. Oh, well, he'll appear. Oh, wait, no, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there, okay. Um, I'm keeping an eye out for any Pokemon that I don't have, because I have not come to this area just yet, so. More of the Liar 3. <laughs> yeah. And their theme, their antics are goofy. <laughs> well, she. I, I mess it up. I'm going to mess it up a lot. I do this all the time, trust me. I'm going to. I don't have Charger Bug yet. I do not have you yet. I am going to keep messing it up. I am going to. Like, it's it's inevitable. Oh. I'm back. Alright, charge a bug was caught. There we go. They're a headache. They are, honestly. <laughs> They are definitely a headache, and I will agree to that. <laughs> when they do have one. Oh yeah, absolutely. When they're genderless, it doesn't matter what you call them, because they're... You know, it never matters. Alright, I don't have Grubbin yet either, so let's catch a Grubbin. Alright. Got you. Oh! Sorry, I had to crack my back there a little bit. <laughs> All right. Grubbing in the Pokedex. All right, let's see what else is around. Oh, Levani, don't have you yet. At least I don't think so. All the life of Sir Hermel, by the way. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. All right, then. They're all male. All right. Oh, come on, Lee Vanny. Really? All right. This is why we have False Swipe. I don't know why the group chat's deciding he wants to go off now. Alright. <laughs> sure. <gasps> Alright, there. In the red. Time for an Ultra Ball. There we go. Nice. All right, we got Levani. Another one added to the Pokedex. Oh, my Kirito leveled up. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Items. I know I'm go I'm going by the lake. I know it. Oh, 
Lombre and Lotad, we have you. I guess I should start climbing, huh? I should actually try to go straight towards the lake, maybe. Wait, do I have Mainfu? I do not. I, or, I have its evolution. That's what I have. I don't have you, though. I literally just looked up insults the big one to L because I want to keep punching these three in the face before it's legit. I don't blame you there because they're picking on cute little Ogre Pond. Like, Ogre Pond's adorable. All right, there we go. And I mean, oh, hi, my Tiana. I'm pretty sure I've already caught one of you. Yes, I did. Oh. Ah! Oh, apparently I can get a reward for my Pokedex progress. I'll get that in a minute. First objectively evil legendary, so I won't feel too bad when bullying them. Legit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they haven't really outright said they killed the guy that was with Ogre Pond. Oh, hi, Mainfo. Um, but it kind of sounds like they did. <sighs> they haven't outright just said it. Like they did with, like, the professor passing away. Uh, what's... Oh, that's Grubbin. Okay. I was like... Oh, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, how was it that big before? <laughs> okay, just making sure I'm not missing any other. Oh, hi, Yanma. Okay, no. Oh, oh, hi, Ogrepan. That's Ogrepan. I was thinking something was running at me. Oh, it's Oricorio, which you're in the normal Pokedex. I don't think know if I have your form, but you're in the normal Pokedex, so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save here. Just in case. I know what typing it is, though, so that's helpful. Why did it get so big? Giratina was just keeping the peace of the distortion world. Alternate Krozma had something stolen from him. <laughs> These guys just bullied our precious and is implied to have killed its owner to get a few cool-looking masks. Legit. Ah, it's the cocky-looking one. That huge head must mean it's Monkey Dory. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but has it gotten bigger than when we last saw it? Yes. Time for us to put this one in its place, Sandra. Alright. Alright, Monkey Dory. Turned it into a Titan Pokemon, legit. The Titanic Monkey Dory, yeah. All right, let's go Shadow Claw. All red in the face, if we give it a good trouncing. Time to find out. I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably has studied VGCs. <laughs> I mean, maybe. You never know. That's the thing. You never know. Knowing type matchups and everything. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you paralyzed it. That's good. Scavenge berries. It could have, yeah. Honestly. That's true. It could have. I mean, I'm just gonna keep Shadow Glon. That's the best move I really got for it. Nice, there we go. Good move there, Carmine. Can't move because it's paralyzed. Let's go. How you doing over there, Shasta? You doing good? <laughs> my dog's in a, my, she's sitting in my chair. It's not my chair anymore. Someone's got a weakness, legit. <laughs> Oh 
Almost there. It is so good, like honestly. They've they've done a pretty good job, I think, with the music in this game, like honestly. Like they've done a really good job, I think. There we go. Easy. Wait till you hear Ogre Pond's theme, legit. Hey look, it dropped a mask. Oh, that one's a cute one. I like that mask. We did it. We got the first mask back. Aww. Okay, hang on. I, I always like to take the pictures of these just so I remember them. <laughs> It sure is happy. You know, I felt this way at the Crystal Pool, too, but we make a good team, don't we? Two masks left. Let's take the rest of the Loyal Three down. Why are we still calling them the Loyal Three when that's clearly not what they are? I, I mean, I guess that's what everyone calls them, so that's what we're expected to call them. Okay, I'm going to stop here to heal. Just because this is the only Pokemon Center around. <laughs> The only one around. You want to go over there, Shasta? You itchy. Itchy little girl. Alright. Alright, there we healed up, and now it's time to go. Oh my. <laughs> okay. So the next one, I would say we do him last. He's the farthest away. I say we do him last. So the next one is right here. All right, so let's fly here. Hi, pretty girl. What you doing? You looking at me? You need something? All right, let's go on out of here. It's a terror Pokemon. Oh wait, that's a, we don't have this guy. I want you, we don't have him. I don't think so. Anyway. It's a grass type. Okay. Well, that's actually great, honestly, for us. It's level 86. That's crazy. Oh, wait, you have flash fire still. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, okay, um, new plan. I don't know what my new plan is. <laughs> I think you are. I think that's my best plan, even though you still have fire moves. Oh, this thing's high level. Failed, okay, that's perfect. Do not miss your icicle crash, please, and thank you. Nice. Alright, there we go. Alright. Ultra Ball, please catch. It's level 86. It's the highest level Pokemon we've seen here. Okay, I think... Nightshade... That's fine. Nice, okay. And I guess the Terra Pokemon tend to be higher level, the ones that terrestrialize. Alright, there we go. We got Lampent. 
We still need Litwick and Chandelure, though. Alright, let's get items. Uh, oh, yeah, I can claim a reward. Okay, hang on. Oh, let me get it. Doesn't dip dipity. I'll say this once and I'll say it again. It's majestic. Too majestic to be part of the Lazy Bones 3. <laughs> it does look really majestic. Honestly, when I see it, I kind of think of, um... Is it... What's the name? I thought I saw something there. Sorry. Um... Uh, what's the name? The villain from, uh, Kung Fu Panda 2. What's it called? What was his name? I forget his name. Okay, well, this wants us to climb down. I'm just gonna jump. Oh, wait, there it is. Hi, Graveler. Okay, let's save real quick. Used to be ugly, though. The powers of the toxic chains gave it great beauty. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's see... All right. Hope it's going in the cave. Okay. There's an item over here I must have. Hang on. <laughs> Distraction. Antidote. Hey, you never know when you might need that. Chilling waterhead. Okay. Nice wind up. There's a pile of swine down there. I want that. Don't have you. And there's a Sneasel, too. Don't I already have Sneasel? Yes, I do. Pile of swine, though, I don't. Alright, let's go for a quick ball first. Oh, come on. Why can't you just... It's not poison flying. Okay. Yeah, see, that would have been my first guess, but then it's like... That it makes kind of sense that it would not be. That's what they want you to think. Oh, it knows takedown. Okay, that's... Well, no, we can't... It doesn't affect me. Never mind. I was worried for nothing. You can take down all you want, Pilot Swine. And you can do that all you want, too. It ain't gonna affect Kirito. Lizard, okay. Poison fairy. Interesting, okay. Uh, full swipe one more time, because it does not have a self-k move that can hit me. Poison fairy, okay, so... So honestly, the my psycho cut should actually be good on it, I think, then. Because of SAO, I did, yeah. I actually really do like Sword Art Online. I actually do. And I thought it was just kind of a good name for it. Earthquake, that hurts. I just thought it was a good name for it, and I liked it, so. Now, SAO, I haven't watched it. I watched it basically up until it became Gun Gale Online, and then I kind of stopped. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I just... Wasn't interesting to me at that point. Everything before it I was fine with though, so. Alright, there we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> I am falling off the edge. I have you. Yes, I do. Uh, heal you up, because I will need you. Let's heal you too, just in case we do. I don't think we will though, because this is supposed to be a fairy type. But you know what? What's up here? Anything? Or does this lead where I don't want to go? Probably where I don't- Oh, it's in the water. Oh. <laughs> High dive ball? Oh gosh. We're, we're sinking. Uh. Oh, another item. Oh, we got a TM for blip turn. Alright. 
Out we go. Oh, what did I... Oh, Tynamo lives in here, apparently. I'm fairly certain... Yeah, we already have Tynamo. Oh, am I stuck in the wall? No, oh, I... <gasps> Tynamo, leave me alone. <gasps> I am in the wall. Well, Kirito's in the wall. Okay, Tynamo... Who's Aracuda? Oh, my God. When I do battle streamers and they come in with their playthrough teams and they see one of my teams, the reaction, they're just like, oh, 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 it's always funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I imagine that is. Oh, there's Pyro Swine sitting there now. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to jump over these Pokemon, aren't I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of annoying right there. Um, okay, I probably don't want to come in that cave ever again. Oh, there's an item. Give me the item, please. Okay, I'm not close enough, apparently. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Carbink. I don't have Carbink, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have Carbink. Okay, there's another new one for us. Where am I at now? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's do Quick Ball and hope it catches. Please. <laughs> Like when the quick ball works. Thank you. It's just so much quicker that way. Like, it's just so much quicker. Expecting a casual team, they did not expect Pelipper, Basket Legion, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Thunderous, and Tornadus. Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got Carb Ink. Oh gosh. I do want this item over here, though. Ice stone. What's in here? Anything? Or is this going to be another area that's hard to get out of? Oh, is that a whooper? It is. It just looks really scary down there. Um, okay, I'm going to go back out this way. I'll explore in here later. I want this item. Oh, there's another one up there. Dang it. <laughs> Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to try and get that later. Oh gosh, ah, I'm falling. <laughs> We're okay. We're chilling. Bless you. What you doing, my sweetie? And there's Gumi in here. I actually got a shiny Gumi finally, and I redeemed myself. I was proud. I failed the shiny Gumi and Legends Arceus, so I've been trying to get one back ever since. Okay, how far down am I gonna have to go to find this thing? Oh. Found it. I'm gonna save just in case so I don't have to come through here again. Oh. Never be too safe. There's the one that flies. Fenza de Piti. I've, I'm gonna screw up its name a lot, probably. This one's gotten bigger too, huh? Time to bring this one down, Sandra. Oh, you got it. You know it. Okay, raised its speed. Okay, let's go for Psycho Cut. But his face is so pretty, it doesn't remind you of me a little. Not really. Not very effective. Fine with that. Toxic Chain's annoying, though. Okay, decent. Grunt, excuse you. Uh, you're gonna be the one to do more damage. What do you mean? What does it matter? You're using Thunder Wave. Okay, Sarah Ledge works, but I think because of the poison, 
I should bring in Corviknight. Because it cannot poison Corviknight. So that's what I'm going to do. Plus, Corviknight has Steel Wing, also super effective on a Fairy type. Also, I haven't used Corviknight at all this stream, and it's my shiny. I gotta use it. You doing okay over there, girl? Hey, nice. Can't move. I like that. Or will not very effective. All right, let's go Steel Wing. What's up, Shasta? What are you doing? What are you doing, pretty girl? Keep going. Not does not do anything. I'm going so far. Oh yeah, I think I'm going great. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? My dog's up. She might need to go outside. She's she's playing with her toys on the, on the floor right now. She's trying to figure out what she wants to do. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? What are you doing, pretty girl? What are you doing? And now she's just happy that I'm talking to her. <laughs> Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go potty? Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> oh, more Pico's going down. All right. All right. She, I think, needs to go outside because she's been up here with me. I don't know, about two hours ago she was out again, so I should probably take her out. Do you need to go outside? You need to go potty. My Tiana, that's... Sure. That's not really great for this one, but okay. Um, but I will be right back, guys. I'm going to take her out, uh, and then we will finish this fight. So I will be right back.
Okay, we are back. Um, I took her out, <laughs> so she should be good for a little while. She's now eating her food, it looks like, which is good because she needs to eat her food. All right, well, let's keep going with this. What terror type am I? No, I'm flying. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> that is not good one for Mighty Yana. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to beat the third loyal of these three, and then I'll probably call it a day. Because uh, I need to think about dinner at some point here. Because <laughs> it's about 6.42, so... Ah, paralyzed. Okay, maybe two more stealings max, or one actually, with the takedown. Alright. Couldn't move. Like it. Love to see it. <laughs> Let's go. Good job, Nightwing. And when I say Nightwing, yes, I do mean, like, the Batman character. I'm a big Batman fan, for those who do not know. This office is legit my Batcave. Never stood a chance. Hey, look, it dropped a mask, too, just like the last Pokemon. That one's cool, too. I like the other one, like, the one that was blue with the heart. I like that one the best. So far out of the two that we've gotten. That makes two masks back where they belong. Here we go. See, Kiki should be a part of this. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. We did it, Ogre Pond. No opponent's gonna give us any trouble so long as we're a team. Kiki really should have come with us. He should have. Well, one more mask remaining. Let's make this loyal one and loyal none. <laughs> there we go. That works. All right. So one more. Um, I don't need to remove that. So he's up here. Um, no. Do that. Uh, I am gonna heal first because I think we kind of need it. So let's go heal. So this one we obviously know is poison type. We'll have to figure out the other typing. Uh, we'll leave with Kirito, and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm just glad she's eating. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I am going to save real quick, just in case, so we don't have to do all that over again. <laughs> All right, and now let's fly all the way up here. All right. What's that an item that I missed? Hello. <gasps> Rare candy. Hey, I'll take that. Any day of the week, I will take that. Hi, Timber. Can I can I have this? Thank you. Let's see. He's over here, right? What in the world? He's bouncing. He's bouncing. Okay, now he's not. Again, the issues with the game's performance. That's basically what what we're seeing. The only complaints I have about this game is the performance. <laughs> Which I think is what most people have about the game, is the performance. Here's the buff one. Okie dokie, with all its mean, mean muscles. See, with the muscular and how it is, I would assume fighting type, maybe? But I'm not sure if that's correct. I guess we'll see how much Psycho Cut uh, does, then maybe we'll find out. How is it they've all gotten bigger like this, though? Give me a break. Come on, Sandra, it's time to cut this Pokemon down to size. Oh, you got it. How you doing, girl? You eating? You eating your food? 
Fence rows. Okay. Let's see what a psycho cut does. Scarf is way too stylish for the likes of you. I'm gonna teach you to sit the hard way. I don't know. He's calling the cat, I guess. Let your leader have the last attack, okay? <laughs> Okay, Crunch. Maybe it's a dark type? Well, no, it can't be a dark type. I use Psycho Cut. Never mind. It's not that, but it knows a dark move. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Ogrepon's cheering. Alright. Let's see. Psycho Cut does work, so. Good damage. It's probably gonna take me out here, though, with a crunch, I would assume. No, close combat. Okay, maybe. I think it might actually be a fighting type. Okay. I think I was right. chain. Okay, more Pico's going down there. It may have hung on one, but the poison took it out. Alright, Tiana. Again, not a good one for this Carmine. Psycho cut. You need more water. Did you drink the rest of your water? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hope it attacks the Mighty Anna while I get my dog water here. I'll leave it on the screen though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, well, if it's fighting type though, that means Corviknight can come in here. So, Corviknight, come here. She's gonna drink that whole bowl, I know. <sighs> she she drinks like she she drinks like she's so thirsty, legit. Okay, we could Brave Bird. Let's Brave Bird see how much it does. Okay, I think I might just drill pack then, since it didn't do I'll see how much drill pack does compared to that. Combat, that's gonna be neutral, okay. Defense was lowered though. Which I like. Keep doing that. Close combat again. Ooh. No, don't cry, Nightwing. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> Let's go, Nightwing, with the crit. Okay. <laughs> Carmine, come on. Let's just. <sighs> Wait, did it not take it down? It's legit. It has one HP then. Like, what the heck? And she's going back to the chair. <laughs> oh, hospitality. 
Dang, that's nice. Didn't know that Pokemon had that ability. That's really nice. All right, there. It's finally down. It legit didn't look like it had any HP, but clearly it had at least one. There we go. We're like the ogre and its masks. We help we help bring out each other's full power. And there it is. We got the last mask. <laughs> oh, that one's funny looking, honestly. Congratulations, Ogrepon, and good work, Sandra. We've got all the masks. There we go. Thank goodness it all worked out, right, Ogrepon? Sandra, sis. Huh? Kiki, what's up? Well, uh, I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. But the villagers... You gotta trust me. It'll be okay. I promise. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to ask. Just come. Hmm. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. But he did have a confident look in his eyes. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. If things go south, I'll use my natural charm to smooth things over. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I don't know if it would be natural charm. Okay. Let's fly there, then. I'm just going straight there. It'll It'll take me to wherever it wants me to be. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, You really don't want to be here, do you? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Kiki, what's this all about, really? I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond, but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? <laughs> She's like, uh, okay. Did, did he talk to everyone in the village? Or, like, did he convince them? So that's the ogre, Ogre Pond. It's actually real? Let's trust Kieran. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogrepon, whom we've so sorely wronged. For far too long, we told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We owe, all owe you a great apology. Aww. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why the sudden about face? Kieran's been running around the whole village, telling everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear Ogre. Ogre Pond's so cute. Seems that I was wrong to worry so much. Who knew Kiki had it in him? Especially since he usually hates talking to people. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do so. Aww. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belong to you all along. If you've managed to get them back from those three villains, please feel free to keep them. We got the mask back, and we managed to clear Ogrepon's name. Now that's what I call a happy ending. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogrepon back to its home. <laughs> Kieran? Okay, escort him to the dreaded den. He he's on top. <laughs> she's on top. She, she, she's on top. Look at her feet. <laughs> She's on top of the tent. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <gasps> oh. Okay, she ran off. I was going to take a picture of her standing up there. Dang it. All right, it's fine. All right, so we have to go sit here, and let's just fly here. And we'll go from there. I'm speeding through the story, I know, but I just want to get through it. I, I just want to know what happens next, you know? Five Oni's Ma. Oh gosh, dude, dude, don't get in my way. <laughs> I'm running into you, dude. All right. Let's find the path that branches off to the dreaded den. Over here, I growlith. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought that was, like, different looking for a minute, and it freaked me out for a sec that I was missing a shiny. Um, but I'm not. We're good. I guess if I miss a shiny Noibat, I do already have one. Going to save here really quick. Just in case. Wait, what? That's not the den. Ice Fang, though. Okay. Didn't notice that before. <laughs> well, here we are. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Take care, okay, Ogre Pond? Oh. Oh. He's like, she's like, no. Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Sandra. Oh. Hey, hold up. Kieran? If it's not gonna stay here, then I I wanna I want Ogre Pond to come with me. Oh no. Kiki. I know I'm being real selfish, but Sandra, please, let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. Hey Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings, too. I want to battle anyway. Okay. So let me know once you're ready. Alright. I think I'm good. Alright, let's save, I guess, here so we don't have to do that cutscene again if something happens. Let's battle Kieran. Ready to battle? Yes. Well then, let's get started. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't, don't you dare hold back. Okay. Shift tree. Okay, that's a new one. It's a new lead. We still should be okay. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogrepon, but I... <sighs> better blade. Oh, it hung on. Barely. 
You're not holding back. Thank you. But it won't hold back either. Okay. Focus Sash. Alright. Dark Pulse. That's gonna hurt. Okay, we're okay. Alright, and I'm just going to Shadow Claw to take it out. Because even if we better blade, it won't heal that much for us. Because there's he legit had one HP left. Glyscore. Okay. Let's switch. Let's go into... Let's do Tommy. Because if we hit an Icicle Crash, that's four times super effective. Alright, Icicle Crash. Don't miss, Tommy, why? Earthquake, that's rough. Okay, we're fine. Please don't miss. Oh, it has a berry. Okay. That's smart, Kieran. That's smart. Earthquake again. Good job, Tommy. Dragon Claw, finish it off. Alright. Polyrath coming in. Let's switch into Holly Leaf. I think I need to use that ice. Well, no, Ice Fang's not completely 100% accurate either, is it? I was gonna say, I needed more accurate physical ice move than Icicle Crash. <laughs> I might have to play around with that, see what works better. I hate moves that aren't. I mean, it, it's just, it's terrible. I hate when they miss. Alright, Polyrath done. What else you got, Kieran? Yan Mega coming in. Alright, let's switch. Uh, Kirito has could heal from here, um, but I am going to send in Nightwing. Just because we haven't used Nightwing in the battle yet, so might as well get him in there. Plus, anytime you get to see the shiny, like, come on. <laughs> Can't eat berries, so that's good. Let's go, let's just do Drill Pack. I don't... Okay, air slash, don't flinch. Thank you. Okay, one more drill pack will do it. He's he's his team is high level. Like he's a this is definitely a hard battle for sure. Probo pass. Okay. Oh, gosh, so that's... I'm gonna go Hercules. Could know an electric move. Um, let's go ahead. I am going to flip turn. Already. Nice, alright. Just get in and out, because I bet he's going to go for, like, a discharge or something. I'm pretty sure Provo Pass can learn that. Um, let's go into Hollow Leaf, then. Zap Cannon. Yep, there it is. He actually landed it, too. Jeez. Oh, and the Paralysis. That sucks. Alright, Flower Trick. He's still all speed, which is good. All right. Oh, good job, Holly Leaf, breaking through that paralysis. Diplin coming in. Um, let's go back into Tommy. It's not over yet. I'm tired of losing.
Okay. Please hit the ice or crash. Nice. Landing a crit. Let's go, Tommy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Figures. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> like, honestly. I don't know. Kieran. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Sandra. Prove yourself to Ogre Pond. so bad. Test its strength. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Terrestrializing? If ever you... Wait. Is it fire? Okay, that's... that's different. So this is what Ogrepon's really capable of. Terrastalize the mask. Okay, so I'm assuming fire type? If that's the case... No. Let me check. Yeah, it's fire type. Um... I could stay in because I have flash fire. Um... Let's see how much this does. Okay, good damage actually, okay. Rescue train, interesting, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna keep using Shadow Claw. Okay, there we go. Do we have to beat all his mass? Memories of adventuring with you grant Ogrepon's strength. Okay, this one now. Okay, I'm assuming water type. Which, if that's the case, Kirito needs out. Yeah, Wellspring Mass, so that's gotta be. Yep, water type. I am switching there. Oh, let's go Lily. Lily didn't get a chance to fight in the Battle of Kirin, so let's send in Lily. Plus whatever we if they Ogre Pond hits it hits her with, then just makes this a little stronger. Ivy Cud Cudgel? Is that what that Okay. Alright, Lily. Discharge. Maybe cuddle again. Oof. Okay, that hurts. Lily could potentially go down here. Unless it, she one-shots. Oh, so close! Okay. 
I am going to switch just because I don't want Lily to go down here. Oh, we did paralyze it. But Lily's not fast. I have a feeling it's probably still going to outspeed me. Okay, I'm going to risk it. Yes, okay, we're fine. I wasn't sure, honestly. I thought it could potentially still outspeed. Okay, there's that mass done. Okay, memories of working together. Get the, retrieve the mass now. Okay, okay, what type is this one then? Is it steel? It looks more like a steel type, to be perfectly honest. Possibly? It looks like it could be cornerstone. Rock or steel then? Rock type. Okay, let's switch. Let's go Hercules. The music is really good. So that adapts to whatever type it is. That move. Okay. Uh, let's go Waterfall. Nice. One more of those and we're good. I think we do have Wind Harley at the Battle its last mass still, though, I would assume. Because this is just number three. of a partner from long, long ago. There it is. Normal one. I'm assuming that's grass. I would assume. Okay, so that means I'm doing this. Ooh. Oh, okay, good job, Hercules. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, okay, flipped out. And now we're going back into Kirito here. I think. Yep. Alright. Let's do... This is the last one, so I'm doing it. Just because we haven't done it at all. I think it's only fair. Only fair. We haven't done it all this entire DLC. Like, legit. Ow, that still hurt. <laughs> This is everything Overpawn's got. Now you're, now's your chance to catch it. Okay, what ball should we use? Which one does Ogrepawn deserve? I feel like, do I have a luxury ball? I do. Here, Ogrepawn, you can have a luxury ball. You, you've had a rough time. I think you deserve some luxury here. There we go. Ogrepawn was caught. Check its summary real quick. I'm probably just gonna send it to the box because it overlaps with my starter right now, of course, but. That's cool. I like Ogre Pawn. Ogre Pawn, she's so cute. There we go, we got Ogre Pawn.
Okay, I got all three of those masks. So I'm assuming I could just give it a mask, like you give it one of those, and then that changes the type. Hey, well done, Sandra. That was pretty impressive. Karen. C congratulations. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. Why, why can't I be like you, Sandra? Karen. I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. I feel bad for him, you know? Like, the next day. Hey, Sandra, good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I have nothing to do with it. It's all her. Okay. Meet up with Carmine, okay. I know I said I was going to end after um, the three, but I don't know. I feel like I should go do this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what Carmen wants. There you are. You took your time. You bat really battled great yesterday, Sandra. I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Though Kiki... Well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. That's worrying. Yeah. Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Sandra. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. <laughs> Do you think you would let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Sure. I gotta get him out of the box. I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, so I have to have Ogre Pond, I'm assuming, on the team then? Um, let's see. Who... Okay. Yes, who do I even replace? Because huh. you're a grass type right now. But I'm assuming I give you a different item and you change? Or, or do you have an item? Where are your masks at? I actually don't know. Oh, here we go. Uh, so that would make it wield the rock type during battle, wield the water type during battle, or wield the fire type during battle. Uh, let's give it the water type one, actually. Let's do that. Okay, so it's grass water. Okay, so let's do that, and then I'll let Hercules kind of chill in the box for a bit. Because Hercules is level 100. Oh, I gotta heal you up. And do you have all your moves? No, you don't. It's fine, though. We'll be fine. 
It'll be fine. I see you've got Ogre Pond on your team. I think it's battle style changes depending on its mass. So is it all set and ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. I got this. Right, let's get to our positions. All right. All right, Carmine, let's see what you got. My Tiana's out first. Kirito, I definitely probably shouldn't be leading with the ghost type. <laughs> Wake up early, you asked me to come here. Excuse you. Okay, let's switch. Um, you're dark type, you're gonna use a dark type move. Um, so Holly Leaf will resist. Holy Leaf also has U-turn, so if I need to, I can U-turn out. That'll also be super effective on you, but I'll just flower trick, I think. <laughs> Crunch, that's fine. Alright, flower trick. You could have sworn it would be a regular hit. Uh, Carmine Newsflash, uh, Flower Trick always crits. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. We have Vanny coming in. Alright, let's switch. That one is where I would like Kirito in, actually. <laughs> so Kirito, you can come back now. Blade. Nice. Let's go. I bet you're real popular back home. Is that sarcasm? I think she could be nicer. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stay in. That's ghost type, isn't it? Isn't it ghost type? I can't remember. Yes. Oh, it hung on. Hex, that's gonna hurt a bit. Okay. Uh, just Shadow Claw again. Okay. Pico is coming out. Okay, I don't really have anything great against more Pico, if I'll be honest. Um. I'll go for all the leaf again, I guess. I don't have ground type or a fighting type, so that is one thing my team definitely those two things my team definitely lacks. Although I usually I do have drain punch on um Hercules, so typically that kind of makes up for it a little bit. Oh, okay. And of course you have the focus dash. Of course. Let's do flower trick again, maybe. Don't get hit, that's fine. Hate paralysis. <laughs> or wheel. Okay, come on. Come on, breakthrough paralysis. Thank you. <laughs> She's dragging us out. Nine tails. You have a nine tails. Okay. Um. Well, that's where. It's an I ogre pawn in. Assuming it's the regular fire type nine tails. Okay, and this is the last Pokemon, so I feel like this is only right. Because why not? I 
I like how that does that. I like that. Flamethrower. Nothing. Let's go. Oh man, Ogre Pond's kind of cool. I like it. In fact, too, you can actually change its type to kind of best match what you need it for. You're seriously too strong. I mean, she's not yelling at me, so <laughs> that's good. I got lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogrepan really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. <laughs> I actually, uh... Sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... Oh. Who's calling me? Hey there, Sandra. This is Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Message received, loud and clear. Ah, oh, Carmine is with you. Wonderful. That's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. What were you going to say? She's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... Carmine? Oh well, let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. I mean, what were you gonna say? What was she gonna say? <laughs> I would like to know. I guess we'll keep Ogre Pond around for a little bit. We'll keep it, keep her with us for a minute. Might as well. All right. Where's Kieran? Oh, Kieran's still shut in his room, isn't he? Ah, oh, Sandra. Everybody's here. Well, most of us are here, anyway. Now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitsukami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it. We found them all. That was so much fun. Well, thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. Oh. The Kitakami Mochi set. Okay. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Pal Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Oh no. Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we really must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. You can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say. Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. <laughs> it felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Sandra. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. 
Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely going to see each other again. That's actually, this just seems sad. <laughs> oh. That's Carmen for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up the school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a big, great big thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, we're still here. We're still bothering him. <laughs> He's just watching us in the meantime. I need to become... Oh, no. I need to become a lot stronger. 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 Stronger and stronger and stronger. Kieran... Hmm? Just you wait, Sandra. No, go on. <laughs> I hate that. I hate the to be continued stuff. Like, they left that on such a cliffhanger. Like, what? Okay, well that is the story of this part of the DLC, guys. That is that. Oh my gosh, I still there's still a lot that to explore. Um, but that's the story. So I think I'll kind of be taking to exploring pretty much around on my own. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad we got through the story. That was really awesome, and I really enjoyed that story. Not gonna lie, I really did enjoy that. So, um, yeah, I think that's gonna be about where I wrap it up for the day. Um, let me just put all my stuff in the chat for you all so you have it. All right, there we go. There's all the links in chat for you guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this stream. I hope you did enjoy it. If you didn't, you haven't already hit the follow button. Please, please do. We'll greatly appreciate it. Um, also, go check out my YouTube channel if you like this content and you want to see more. I stream over there. I also upload all my streams from here to there. So if you ever miss one here, it'll be over there. Um, but yeah, that's it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.